What is up there beautiful people and welcome to another edition of Just Trending News. I'm coming to you on a Sunday darlings because honestly, honestly today we've got some shocking news about Faith Ngezi, the ever so beautiful gorgeous Faith Ngezi and her husband Unzuzo Njilo as he is reportedly in a million rand debt, okay? So allegedly the sheriff came over to his house this past weekend and he actually told the sheriff that he is poor, he's a pauper and that he cannot afford to pay his debt, okay? So the businessman who is married to the Have Faith reality TV star Faith Ngezi also also revealed that he was in poverty when debt collectors knocked on his door in Hyde Park on Friday the 19th of August so this happened just Friday imagine you have these debtors who are coming into your house and you're trying to convince these people that you are broke. Well, I guess now he is broke, okay? So the businessman recently welcomed a baby, as we all know, with Faith and Getty. But it's also being reported that there is trouble there as well, as Faith and Getty has allegedly been asked to leave a private hospital because they cannot afford their private hospital bills. But let me break down the story. So this is Unzuzo Njilo's debt allegedly according to some publications okay so basically people are saying that um there's been some sheriffs that went to his house to try and collect goods that are worth a million rands okay so it's reported that bazooka attorneys was granted a high court order in july to attach his movable properties as proceeds would be used to repay the over nine hundred and seventy thousand rand debt okay so a source that is close to the couple told the publication that the sheriff only managed to recover household movable goods worth about thirty five thousand rands including beds a fridge uh couches television sets and a microwave but let's just pause there for a second like how something is fishy goods with only 35,000 rand and I'm sure this is a house that is worth over a million rand. This is what I'm like I'm assuming it's a house that's worth over a million rand. This tells me that they were either living like way beyond their means or it tells me that some of their property or goods were already moved before the sheriff actually came over because they knew that their stuff was going to get repossessed. Okay, but this is me just trying to, you know, come up to some sort of a conclusion because in myth, I myth, it's not making sense. Okay. So basically, Ngeti's husband, which is uh, Un Mr. Njilo, made headlines in June when it was revealed he defrauded the owners of Land Industries in March after purchasing copper concentrate that he never delivered. He was arrested on a charge of fraud for sending Land Industries fake proof of payment, and he's set to appear in court in the Randbag Magistrates Court on the 4th of October for that, okay? So he was arrested, out on bond, and now he's also expected to appear in court sometime in October. Listen, child, when it rains, it pours. And honestly, right now, it is pouring for Abonjilo, okay? So, as we've already said, as everybody already knows, there was news that broke out that Faith and Getty was pregnant and has now delivered her baby. It's basically being revealed that the baby, uh, their daughter, Sengai Njilo, was admitted to hospital for pneumonia and they had to make use of public hospital as they couldn't afford a private hospital. So this is what someone said. It said, it's been a week since Faith and Getty Njilo and Zuzo welcomed their daughter, Sky Njilo. I also heard that yesterday they were Asked to leave the private hospital and they're now at Steve Miko Academic Hospital in Pretoria. <laughs> sorry guys, no, I don't know why I did an accent. I'm so sorry. God, okay. Composure. This is not funny. <laughs> this is not funny, okay? But they're at Steve Miko Academic Hospital in Pretoria because they could no longer afford private hospital fees. What? That 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 one is really sad, okay? On top of that, the couple's two vehicles, a Mercedes-Benz and a Range Rover, which Njilo had bought for the reality TV star as a surprise last year, which is 2021, obviously, to celebrate their anniversary was not theirs, but was rented from a dealership in Santon. So this is what the source is adding as well. And um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, you marry a man and you fall pregnant. Obviously, okay, so you marry a man, you fall pregnant, you give him a baby, and all of that. You marry this multi million rand man or multi millionaire man. Sorry, English is not my first language. You marry this multi millionaire man only to be in debt. 
having to leave private hospitals, now going to a public hospital, finding out that allegedly the cars weren't even theirs. This is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And honestly, it's a sad situation. Do I feel sorry for the couple? Absolutely, positively not. I do not. I do not. Do you know when they were using Range Rovers, eating the funny things in life, traveling, going on vacations, you know, living large, I was, I was using taxis. So no, of course I don't feel sorry for the couple. And honestly, I don't feel sorry for anybody who's trying to live life above their means to make use or to keep up the social media facade. It's honestly pathetic. It's 2022. We know it's not real. Give up the act already. Give it up. So it's a sad situation, very sad for the daughter, obviously, but I'm not sad for uh, Faith and Getsy and husband Unzuzon. You know, why, why should I be sad? Why should I be sad? I know how to live in my means. I will use a taxi if I don't have money. I will not go rent a car so I can show off to social media, allegedly, to make it seem as if I've got a car that I do not have. It's pathetic. It's 2022. Stop it, people. Stop it. And the sad part is that a lot of people are actually killing themselves. They're going into depression. You know, they're actually losing the essence of their happiness because they see these celebrities living large on social media. And I say large in quotation marks because it ain't that big at all. You know, they see the celebrities living large and they get into these deep states of depression because they feel as though they're not where they're supposed to be in life. Or because we've got people who are out here faking it for society. No ways. No ways. And if you're out here defrauding people and in a court case, definitely I don't feel sorry for you, booty. Actually, it's not even like he's out here, like, trying to garner my sympathy. <laughs> he's not even trying to garner my sympathy. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I would serve it to you hot on a hot-ass platter because, cha, it is going down. When it rains, it pours moral of the story. Do not live above your means and don't fake it until you make it. Thank you very much for coming to, to Just Trending News again and listening to me. Please leave your comments about the situation in the comment section. Love you loads, darling. And I'll see you in my next upload. Goodbye, lovely.